3D printing has revolutionized the art of prototyping in the 21st century. It has the capability to print 3D structures using various materials such as plastic, wax or even metals. However, due to the high cost of the printer, not everyone is able to afford it. But in NTU, a team has managed to build up a DIY bioprinter at a lower cost. Wait a minute, bioprinter? So are they printing out cells instead of plastic? Let's check it out. Hi guys! Hi. Hi! Oh, so is this a bioprinter? Yup, this is our DIY bioprinter. Wow, you look so fascinating! Can you tell me more about it? Sure, why not? So basically, our DIY bioprinter consists of four hardware components. And they are the ink cartridge, mm -hmm. the motors that are scavenged from old CD-ROM drives, um, the two stepper motor drivers which supply the voltage to the motors, an ink shield, and the Arduino. Basically, the ink shield controls the printing mechanism within the ink cartridge while the Arduino receives codes from the computer to facilitate the printing process which will be further elaborated by my colleague. So, basically for the software, we will be using the Arduino to do the printing. Arduino is a software which uses basic programming such as the matrix or array. This coding allows us to create, modify and upload sketches of all different types of shape or pattern. In the future, a more practical way to print out our design is to integrate a special firmware to allow Arduino to interpret G-codes. With this integration, our design that are drawn from CAD software, such as ProE or SOLIDWORKS, can be printed out directly. Wow, it's also interesting. Can I see a better printer in action? Sure, why not? This is our printer out, Hydro Gel. Oh, it looks so nice. So how does the wire printer work? So basically, there will be calcium chloride in the ink cartridge and there will be alginate on the printing platform. Uh -huh. So when these two chemicals are come into contact with each other, they will form a Hydro Gel. So basically, that's the mechanism behind it. Oh, okay. So what are the promising applications for this DIY bioprinter? Oh, for our DIY bioprinter, we have plans to print out Mammalian cells first uh, and then testing out the cell viability after printing. So, if that proves successful, we hope to be able to print out functional cardiac cell patches in the future. So, there you have it the DIY battery printer, a promising future for the bio industry. Hopefully, we can even print functional organs out of it.